Dr. Vanna Jain is one of the most successful laparoscopic gynae surgeons in India at present. She has been performing more than 1500 laparoscopic gynae surgeries every year for the last several years with successful outcomes. She is instrumental in the training of other gynecologists who joined the fellowship program at Vardhman Hospital. Dr. Vanna also leads one of the most successful IVF center at Vardhman Hospital where childless couples get the complete range of infertility treatment under one roof. There are multiple indications when a patient would need the procedure IVF. So there are some absolute indications. For example, there is male factor infertility, the sperm count is nil, and the patient requires testicular sperm extraction. Or there is a complete tubal block or the patient has failed with all other treatment and requires IVF or there is ovarian failure so the patient requires the services of egg donation. At Vardhman IVF Center we have a state-of-art embryology lab. We have services like IUI which is intrauterine insemination then IVF. For some patients we require services like ICSI that can also be done at our center. Then we have a separate Andrology lab where semen freezing can be done. Then we have embryology lab where egg freezing or embryo freezing can be done as per the case requires. The success rate of IVF can be improved by right patient selection. First of all, the case selection should be appropriate. Then you should apply the right protocol of IVF for that patient. The right choice of injection should be made ovum pickup should be done, embryo transfer should be done. There are many other facilities. If there is a lag at any other step, then those facilities can be added at that step. So we know about surrogacy. In common man's language, you can call it uterus on rent. There are some patients whose uterus does not suffice to conceive on their own. For those patients like Asherman syndrome, which does not, which cannot be corrected by any kind of surgery, these patients we can use surrogacy that is they go and ask another woman to offer their uterus for conceiving. So the latest law which has been amended in Indian government is that commercial surrogacy is not allowed. What we have now is altruistic surrogacy. That means a woman can ask her relative which can be proven to offer her uterus for her for carrying her baby. So there are multiple ways in which a woman can improve her fertility. One is by improving her diet, including fruits, vegetables, healthy, healthy eating habits, then a lot of exercise, which means daily walking and yoga. Then reaching a doctor early, that is after one year of married life, and if she has tried regularly and has not conceived, she should go and visit a gynecologist and find out what could be the reason. The earlier we diagnose, the better it is. So a good IVF center should comprise of a good team that means a good gynecologist who should diagnose the patient rightly, then a good embryologist, a good andrologist, then a good, then good staff nurses to explain and most importantly a good counsellor so that the patient does not bear the burden of failure all alone. We should be with him or her when required. Surgery has a very important role in patients of infertility. There are a lot of patients who present with various factors like myoma, endometriosis, ovarian cyst, or even hysteroscopically there are adhesions which cannot be, so these patients cannot be put for IVF unless you treat them surgically. So what we most commonly face in our patients of infertility is PCOD, also called as polycystic ovarian disease. It is very rampant these days. In PCOD, what we can do is lifestyle management, which includes changes in diet and include life exercise in your daily life. So other than that, what you can do is we can do medical management. But what if it doesn't work? If the medical management doesn't work, we can do laparoscopic ovarian drilling, which is a very simple procedure and helps the patient in conceiving.
we see a lot of patients of fibroids in our OPT. Fibroids can present with various symptoms like pain, like a heavy menstrual bleeding or infertility, any of those. So whether to treat that fibroid and how to treat that fibroid is a big question. Fibroids people think can be medically treated but what I think is ultimately they do require surgery. But yes, you must know when it needs surgical treatment. So laparoscopic myomectomy is a very simple surgery. If you have a lot of experience, you can deal with a 2 cm fibroid or a 20 cm fibroid laparoscopically, saving the uterus of the patient and giving a good reproductive outcome. We see a lot of patients in our OPD of ovarian cyst. Now ovarian cyst can be an incidental finding or patient and the patient gets very worried. Why is it there and how would I treat it? Now there are many kinds of ovarian cysts. So it can be classified into a simple and a complex cyst. So our ovary goes through a menstrual cycle in it which undergoes various changes. A follicle can persist as an ovarian cyst. A corpus luteum can also look as a cyst. Now these are the kinds of cysts which do not need any treatment. Whereas if the cyst is multiple or there it is a complex cyst, then we would like to treat it surgically. And yes, laparoscopic cystectomy is a very easy procedure if done rightly and you have the right skill and surgical experience for it. You can easily save the ovary without harming the ovarian reserve. You can just remove the cyst. Also remove the lining to prevent any future recurrence. A very important thing which we need to take care in our OPD is what surgery does the patient need. Whether it is a myomectomy, a hysterectomy, a simple hysterectomy or a radical hysterectomy. Now whether the patient needs a simple hysterectomy or radical hysterectomy, we have to decide that in the OPD itself. Whether it is a benign pathology or a malignant pathology and a malignant pathology which needs surgery first or chemotherapy first. So that requires various investigations like ultrasound, blood tests depending upon which organ we are dealing and MRI and imaging like CT. So age is a very important factor. If the patient has myomect, a lot of fibroids and her age is almost 50, then we would rather do a hysterectomy rather than a myomectomy. Why? Because there might be recurrence and hysterectomy solves the problem completely. Also similarly, if the patient has completed family, has a lot of endometriosis and is nearing 50, then we would like to do a complete surgery rather than just treating other pathologies. So when we do a hysterectomy, we try utmost, we take utmost care to save the ovaries so that the female does not face any hormonal changes. Even if, if it requires, like if there is ovarian pathology which requires the removal of ovary, then hormonal replacement therapy is adequately given. So most of the patients at our OPD do not face any trouble post Far from the madding crowds and traffic jams lies this beautiful tertiary care hospital located in the foothills of majestic Himalayas. The drive from New Delhi International Airport takes two hours amidst lush green surroundings through an eight-lane superhighway. The V sign of Vardhaman Hospital signifies the victory of good health over disease. Vardhaman Hospital stands firmly on the 35 years of patient trust built by the doctor duo of Dr. Mukesh Jain and Dr. Nutan Jain. Vardhaman Hospital is a 100-bedded tertiary care super speciality hospital in the fields of gynecology, laparoscopic gynae surgeries, reproductive medicine, fertility management, in vitro fertilization, orthopedics, joint replacement, arthroscopic surgeries and complex orthopedic trauma. The hospital is housed in a 6.5 acre plot nestled amongst green salubrious surroundings. The seven-story building offers 2.5 lakh square feet of space to house 14 operation theaters, 60 single deluxe rooms and 40 beds for pre-surgery, post-surgery and intensive care. Vardhaman Hospital has the latest and most advanced diagnostic facilities in the form of MRI, CD scan, fully automated pathology lab, color Doppler, ultrasound, digital X-ray and bone densitometry DEXA scan. Massive investment in acquiring the best-in-class technology has made Vardhaman Hospital establish a new benchmark in terms of world-class healthcare delivery system.